name is Birdbrain, and today we are talking about compositing. So, have you ever come across these cool shots when a character is looking at his reflection in a spherical object? Or like looking through some glass thing when his face gets all distorted and funny? Well, sometimes it is due to the pure genius and raw talent of an animator creating these lines and making these drawings. But sometimes, it can also be a neat compositing trick. So today, I will teach you how to use the mesh warp node. With this node, you will easily be able to create effects such as a character looking through a spherical object or in a warped mirror or something. And you will also be able to animate the position of this mesh warp to change the distorted zone over time. Note that I'm referring to the node today, not the tool. The node will affect your layer or layers as a whole, not your drawing art directly. If you're looking for a way to warp your artwork, use the envelope tool instead. And if you don't know what that is, I have a video about it that I'll link in the description below. So let's learn how this lovely node works. First, bring it to your node view. If you're using Harmony 20, you can simply press on enter in your node view and write mesh warp and you're gonna find it. You can also go to your node library and do the same. So you just go here and you look for mesh warp. Note that if you're using Harmony 17 and older, you will have to go to your node library since the enter thingy in the node view came with 20. Another thing that you can note is that the mesh warp is a green node and green means transformation. So it's the same family as the peg or the quad map. There's others, but what you have to remember is that green nodes are transformation nodes. So to use a mesh warp, you'll need to connect it to a drawing. Since I'm using my mesh warp with multiple drawings, I'm going to show you a quick way to add it to many drawings. Instead of doing this, <laughs> For a thousand years what you can do is simply select all your nodes press command or control p to give them a peg connect the mesh warp to the peg and then delete the peg once your drawing are connected like that to see your mesh warp you need to activate it so just go click on your mesh warp and click on the show control button to edit the numbers of rows in your mesh warp head over to the nodes properties and edit these parameters so you click here you get the window and in the mesh you can edit the numbers of rows and columns that you want the other thing that you can adjust is the deformation quality. So very high will be longer to render and process, and low will be uh, less long. And then all you have to do is get your transform tool, click on these points, and you'll be able to move them to <laughs> change your animation. So click on the red dot to just pull them. And then if you want to get more spherical <laughs> design, can just pull on the little handles and you can get some very cool things going on here i don't know what's going on but something sure is going on note that you can also keyframe these movements to do that i like to click on my mesh warp and then go to my timeline press on o to find it and then you can just put a keyframe on it just like you would with a peg and go to another frame insert a keyframe you can do that by pressing f6 and if you move these points harmony will <laughs> interpolate between these points Pretty neat, right? <laughs> <laughs> to move your whole mesh warp, you can just click on the border here and move your mesh warp around. That's so cool. <laughs> Another thing you can use to move your mesh warp around is the blue circle. So it allows you to change the shape of your mesh to get some very cool effects. Note that this is a compositing node. It doesn't belong into a rig. It needs to be used on like um, final output, like your, your actual animation. You don't use a mesh warp in a rig, that's evil. You don't, never. Or if you do, show it to me so that I can see if it's actually a good thing or not. And it's probably not. So I hope that you're gonna have just as much fun as I did making this video using the mesh warp and I'll see you next week for more knowledge. See you.